Hi guys, so I've always thought of getting married at the age of 23. I thought that by the time I'm 23, I'll be married, uh, then planning for children, living with my husband. I'll be buying maybe my first house with my husband. But things didn't work out that way. It's like the journey to marriage had its own bumps. I thought that it's something that was going to be easy to attain. The same way I had planned that, no, by this particular time, I want to be done with my BCOM. I want to be done with this and everything was happening as per the time that I had set. But now when it came to marriage, marriage was just something else. It did not come easy. It did not come at the time when I wanted it to come. I felt like it came, but it was delayed. It did not happen at the time that I wanted Wanted it to happen and also like now it was it became such a challenge to even now go home because now when i get home my parents will be asking me so when are you getting married and they'll be making certain prayers for me you know deliverance prayers and they would always just be calling me and telling me to go attend this particular church there's a pastor who can pray for me but this particular church it's like it just became so overwhelming i felt like maybe i'm too late maybe there's something wrong with me why aren't i married at this particular age what is going on it, it just became so much i even remember this other time i had written a book and then uh I, I i was having a book launch and then this other pastor when i was telling him about the the book launch is like yeah we can see everything we can see you do have a car you do have a career you have all these things but there is still that one thing missing you still not having a husband you are still not married what is the problem you understand it's like it's something it's like i'm the problem something is wrong it made me feel like ah it means all these other achievements they mean nothing to society if you are not married you know so if i felt i don't know how i felt but i was not feeling good about it you know i wasn't even looking forward to going home anymore because i knew that this was going to be a big conversation that it was going to be a big prayer point a, tri a, pr a priority prayer point to my parents to pray for me to break the evil spirits that are blocking my marriage so oh it really became too much so i was quite happy when i i eventually got married and it also got to the point that if i were to enter into a relationship and then i tell my parents that i'm in a relationship now the following week they would be asking so when is this person coming to pay lobola so it's like now i couldn't even announce any relationship to them anymore because just one week of dating the following week they would want to know when is this person marrying me so it became such a a huge burden it was just quite overwhelming like i did not enjoy the waiting part of it because also the family was not not making it um easy on me but um so but here are some of my strategies but before i get to the strategies that i use let me just take you back to my to my journey to dating and all these things what happened in my journey so but i ended up getting married before i turned uh 27 years so but it wasn't an easy thing. So these are the things that I was doing. And sometimes I felt like my own will and God's will, it's like they were not aligned. Maybe that is why they were even the, the delays that were going on. God knew what he wanted for me, but I thought that I knew what I wanted for myself and what I wanted for myself was not even good enough, was not the best that life could offer so i told you that uh, i wanted to get married at uh, 23 getting married has always been uh, my childhood dream and then uh in school in high school i was so focused on my books i did not date i felt like boys were going to be a distraction so i was a, to a top performer so even though people were making moves on me i would um i would decline them so in high school i did not date at all and then i went into I went into university and then the, the first couple of months I did not date and then later during the year I, I dated and then um, a few weeks or a few months into dating uh, my, friend, my parents found out about that relationship and they did not find out from me and when my parents found out they were just not happy with that relationship and then they told me to break off the relationship and how it happened mm. yeah 
so they said uh call this person right now put it on loudspeaker and and talk to him and tell him that it's over so i i had to call this person and tell him that it's over and hang up the phone and i didn't even get a chance to prepare them that hey i'll be calling and i'll be on loudspeaker uh so you must know that don't talk too much or anything you know so but i called and i told them that it's over but i knew that it's not over but over the next few days then it was really over the relationship um ended and then so i wasn't dating and then even in my second year of university i did not date i was focused on on my books and also obeying my parents that i should not be dating and then came the third year as well third year beginning uh, of the month i was not dating uh because i'm like okay my parents said i must not date so i wasn't um dating but yes the way people pursuing me but there's this other one that stand out like he was really really pursuing me pursuing me so hard until i until i gave in until i fell i fell for him and then also the relationship now it was holiday season holiday season means that i have to be home all the time i can't really be seeing guys like my parents don't want me to date so i couldn't even meet up with the person i was dating with over the holidays and then they felt like i this relationship is not working out i can't even see you they moved on they found someone else you know so also after the after the holidays the relationship was was gone like the relationship did not did not last that long it's like he left me for someone else you know and then so yeah and then came my so i was like I, and i also felt like now i'm in my third year now i'm getting my degree i'm an adult i'm old enough then came my fourth year during honors and then there were times when i was not dating and then there was a time when i was dating and then i felt like okay this is final this will be my final relationship this is the person that i will get married to i'm so in love i was so in love and then but the relationship was just on and off i wasn't really prioritized in that relationship i wasn't really loved but i was in love like that's the difference i wasn't loved but i was in love with this person the relationship like kept having it on and off so much it didn't really it didn't really last but that's the relationship that also when i i started working i was in that relationship that was uh on and off would break up and then would know that ah uh, maybe after a couple of weeks or months we'll get back together again so that was the kind of relationship that um i was in i thought that that would be the relationship that leads to to marriage i would pray for it to lead to marriage and i even eventually introduced the the person to my parents and stuff but my parents were not happy with him but i was in love so they accepted they accepted it and but things didn't work out in that relationship and then a couple of months not dating and then i found someone else as well we started dating and then when we started dating the ex came back the ex that i was dating when i started working the ex came back and i left the other person but the relationship again it did not last because we were just not compatible together it's like things just did not work out you know and then after that time there were just a uh, long periods of of dryness like it was so dry like it was no guys nothing you know coming and i would still hope that this person will come back just like the other times so i was hoping that this person uh will reach out to me and then yeah we'll continue where we left off but things were not happening that way and i also remember like i would even be writing new year's resolution i want to get married it was always my new year's resolution that i want to get married prayer point i want to get married it was just about marriage marriage i want to get married i even remember at some some time i i told this other friend that you know i would want uh, to buy an apartment but ah uh, like why I, I want to buy it with my husband she's like don't put your life on hold just because of a man just live your life when he comes he'll come and I'm, I'm glad for that advice i bought my first apartment without even um being in a relationship with anyone and then um i i did things like now i would be so active in church like i was so active in church so that maybe i would be noticed because you know if you're active in church now people begin to see you so people who are in the worshiping team and all that people they notice them faster i felt like yo let me join these churches uh go through all the formalities so that i can start uh serving so i can be seen so i was attending church a lot going to their midweek prayers but i just could not find the right people there who were at my level 
and also maybe if they were in my level they couldn't really see me they were not noticing me i would even just be using the train instead of driving hoping that maybe since the people in the train are people who are going to work maybe they'll spot me and still they didn't spot me and also I, I i remember this other time i even chose to work in an environment where it's full of like engineers it's a male dominated environment thinking that they'll be noticing me but still it did not happen like they were just not noticing me you know and and i felt like this was the longest time being single i felt like this was the longest because for me it, it used to be just easy to be in a relationship but now it's like things were just so quiet and the people that were speaking i could see immediately that this we won't work out this are not the people that i want these are the people who meet my requirements so there's even no need to be giving them attention so uh, i remember this other time i got a a text uh, a dm i got a message on on facebook so sometimes people yes would message me some of them i would speak to them hoping that maybe it will lead to something some of them i wouldn't speak to them but this one i was like oh he looks so he looks so familiar like i i went to the same university as him and we're going to the same church so that was the person who became my husband and then he he started we started chatting so i i entertained him because i knew him and then we started chatting and he asked my phone my phone numbers i played hard to get a bit until i gave him my phone numbers and then he he gave um and then the first appointment when he said oh we're gonna meet came the day to meet up with him came the day to meet up with him he didn't pitch so we didn't meet you know i was like yeah, i'm not gonna chase a guy let me just let it be and then he reached out to me again he's like oh can i see you and then i eventually agreed and it was just like a brief meeting he came with a friend there it was not even a date but the third time it was a date we went on a date and then after that this man was giving me um attention he would come visit me a lot i was like wow a man giving me this much attention because in my past uh relationship where i was so much in love this person like we hardly got to see each other it's like i was the one pushing to see him he wasn't pushing to see me i was like oh wow here am i this person wants to see me almost all the time I'm like okay this is good and then also the relationship was progressing so smoothly like we we're not breaking up like for months without breaking up i was so short because i was used to relationships where after two months maybe already you're breaking up for something here yeah, no breakup whatsoever like what is going on and then came the time where things have to be like we're growing up we're adults now we have to have the talk so i had to ask him like uh what are your intentions do you see yourself marrying me and stuff like what's what's the plan and he's like oh the guy is so hot that's why i'm sweating oh and then he's like um he's like he didn't give me a straight answer you know like i will and i also wanted to know the dates like what's going on and also when are you introducing me to your parents you know because it means nothing when a guy meets your own parents it means nothing as a woman what matters is you meeting his family as well and then if like i couldn't get a straight answer but he committed to a date of july like okay july uh he'll come to the introductions at my home and maybe pay lobola and stuff you know but now the date was soon approaching and i'm like okay now the date is approaching what is going on is this thing still happening and you could see that uh it doesn't seem like he's so sure like uh, i'd even ask okay so when are we meeting your your family you know it didn't seem so sure and then i felt like okay it's i can decide to get angry or maybe break things off or i can take this matter up to god i can take this matter before god so i decided that uh -uh, i can't let this relationship uh fall off no 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 it can't be let me take it up to god let me take it before god let me pray to god about my concerns let me make a radical prayer before god i remember this particular day i prayed so much like i prayed a scripture filled prayer scripture filled and spirit led prayer i remember i was sitting in my apartment and kneeling before god crying and saying god why does it seem like this relationship is falling off like what what is going on what is happening i prayed his promises you said in your word this i am going to I'll, I'll i'll read out the prayer for you but i also wrote um i also wrote the prayer the powerful prayer that i made here in this book my book i've also written a book um how to attract mr right and get married within a year so this book is also on on amazon i'll also put the link on the description 
are below so i i i made as such a powerful prayer and guess what after making that prayer a couple of hours later uh he calls me and asks me what are your plans uh i'm like no i'm just going to do my hair uh he's like okay can i go with you like ah it's fine and then we went to do my hair. And then after that, he just drives. He doesn't tell me where we're going. He just drives until we're going to we're going to his home. Like he didn't tell me we're going to his home. And then after that, we just went to his home. And there was his mom there at home. And then he, he introduced me there to his mom. I was like, okay, I can't believe this. It's like so immediate after praying this powerful prayer. Now here he is introducing me to his mom and stuff. Like, and then yeah, a couple of months later, and then we we also went to my home but i think also the challenge for him the reason maybe why he was not so keen on getting married i think also the finances were a challenge at that time he was battling with the finances so guys as well when they feel like they are not uh, financially ready it's difficult for them to be committing to to marriage so i also think that was um that was the the issue that as well but um yeah it it didn't come easy and remember i told you about the ex whom i thought oh this ex will we're gonna make things uh we're gonna make um will he'll come back and stuff so he didn't come back all this entire time and guess when he came back he came back at the time when now i was going to be getting married like just a month or two months before before getting married that is when he even like sent a mess um is it an email or something and apologized and like i see that you're the person only person who loved me this and that blah 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 but i was like oh wow god i thank you that this message is only coming in now when i'm fully committed to my husband when i'm fully in love when i found the right person because i would have delayed myself from finding the right person had this message come in because i would have gone back to this person and the relationship again would still have not worked out i would not have tasted that all oh, these people who are able to love a woman the way that they love a woman i would still wouldn't have seen that so sometimes in your life you might be praying for someone to come back into your life but it is god's way of saying no wait there's someone better that is coming for you there's someone who's right that is still coming into your life i don't want you to end up with that person because even if you can get married maybe the marriage is going to be ending in a divorce so i don't even want you to be going through such i don't want you to be crying the tears that you've been crying that's why i'm not allowing this thing to happen so some of you allow god to lead you so yes i did have a list of requirements that the person that i want should meet this certain list this person should do this and for me like one of the things that i wanted from a man was someone who was like spontaneous someone who's like easygoing and and stuff and someone who's like who's going to love me because sometimes our list will make them based on our past experience i so good uh, the a relationship that i was at this was lacking in that relationship i was not being loved so now in my list for me it was important to have those aspects but the problem is that sometimes on your list you're saying uh this is key to me but even if this person doesn't meet one two three and the thing is that sometimes god even answers you based on the things that you have asked for so if you didn't ask for those things you're not gonna get those things he's going to give you the one two three that you've asked for but those four five six that you said even if he doesn't have one four five six you're gonna find that the person won't have but it's because you did not ask them from god you said it's okay even if they don't have so also i think it's important that when you are in waiting be busy so at some point i couldn't even feel that um i'm single because my life was just so busy it's like now when my husband came into the picture i had to be squeezing him in because my life was so busy i was busy with work and then even after work there were things that i was doing i i'm writing books i was busy swimming like joining other activities busy with church busy with a lot of things so it's also important that when you are waiting for that person wait while you are busy wait while you are doing other things the same way you could see with rebecca in the bible it shows that rebecca was ready to get married but she was still busy in her life she would still be going to the well still doing continuing with her life that is why now even when the servant of abraham said to her that okay now we want to go home uh with you can we take you and the parents were saying no can they wait um some few more days but rebecca was saying no she's ready to go it shows that she was waiting or ready to be found but she was busy with her life going on with her life so it's important that as you are waiting to be found be busy with something be doing something be active in your life discover your purpose culture and nourish your purpose do something with your life discover 
discover yourself, find your feet because in marriage, it can get too busy sometimes that it can be difficult now to find yourself because now you have someone you have your husband uh, that you have to be giving attention to. And then imagine now when you uh, you have kids as well that you need to be giving attention to. So it's, it's important to find your feet even before you get married. To know who you are even before you get married. To have a strong relationship with God even before you get married. Because the things that you've learned, the verses, the scriptures, the prayers that you've learned, they are going to be useful now as you are entering into that marriage. As you now have that husband as you now have those children that is what is going to be sustaining you and also learning certain aspects about yourself about your personality and just be willing to surrender it all and to god so that is um that is important and then also i i, I promise you the prayer so i'll just uh quickly mention uh the quick uh some aspects of the prayer that i made the prayer is also found here in the book so it says Here am I, Lord. I am facing marital delay and it seems like a mountain, but I know that you are making it level ground and it will not be by my own power or might. You thief, I know you've been sent to still kill and destroy my joy, but Jesus, according to his word in John 10 verse 10, has come to give me life and abundant life for that matter. You have messed up in my life and your time ends now. You rulers, forces of darkness, spiritual forces of darkness, today you lose your hold over my life. I put on the full armor of God. Lord, your word in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 says that the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Every good thing that the enemy has taken, I take it back by force in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mask of deception that you have clothed me with, I remove it today in the name of Jesus. I remove anything that you might have put on my face, which makes people not to find me attractive in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil and your agents, I remove every garment that you have dressed me with and put on on the garment of Christ. I speak cleansing in my mouth and voice so that when I speak, people will love to listen to me in the name of Jesus. Lord, open my eye, up my eyes from blindness that the enemy has caused that so that I cannot be able to see my spouse in the name of Jesus. Also open up my ears so that I can hear you. I can hear when you, when you speak to me and I can also hear the voice of my spouse in the name of Jesus. Lord, open up the eyes of my spouse so that he can see me and mute my spouse so that he can break the silence in the name of Jesus. Every generational curse that is working against my marriage be broken right now. I am no longer a victim of curses in the name of Jesus. Any soul ties, I break them right now. Past relationships will no longer affect my life in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has declared a curse over my life. I nullify it right now in the name of Jesus. No curse will operate over my life for I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. Every negative word that I or other people have said about my marriage, forgive me, Lord. I reverse it and cancel its effects in the name of Jesus. So you can see that this is such a powerful prayer that is here in my book. It's such a warfare, powerful, powerful prayer that is here as well, that you can find as well in my book because I can Come from a family where a lot of people in my family like um um in my maybe my mother's side let me just say my mother's side of the family are not uh are not in marriage they are not married so sometimes i'll be like okay maybe i'm also dealing with certain curses from her side so i need to be breaking whatever curses that are there which are making people not to get married because i am part of the blessed generation so i have to be getting married because marriage it comes from god and god has already said that it is not good for a man to be alone he will make a suitable helper for him so i am that suitable helper for someone i am 
am that suitable helper for my husband. And the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I'm busy saying, I would say to God that here is a man who needs your favor and I am that person. He should find me so he can obtain favor. And I can attest to it that now that we are married with my husband, my husband has found so much favor in life. He's not where I found him. Now he's doing even way, 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 way better than than before than me so you can see that yes there is a, a, a blessing that comes with being married so i would speak out the words that are in the bible and speak it back to god about marriage about blessings so even you today yes you might still be waiting to be found but it's important find yourself first find you first find yourself who are you without that person because now if that person comes without finding yourself oh you are going to drown things are not as roses sometimes like that the person have your identity as well and have your identity in christ and then you have an identity as a couple so it's important to to be separate but one join together so that even if things come you know that you can't be shaken as that easily because you know yourselves so when as you are waiting may god also bless you may you find that right person in your life and also i give you some tips on how to know if this will be the right person for you going into the future because sometimes the red flags are there but we just choose to ignore we choose to ignore and then you find you get into marriage you are praying for this person to change praying for this person to change and change never comes but you just now have to change the spouse so may god bless you and give you a successful marriage a fruitful marriage in the mighty name of jesus amen